In last month's episode, we featured Alice Inouye, professional astrologer and feng shui expert. In this segment, Alice will tell us more about feng shui for the office. I work with businesses by both looking at the owner's personal individual cycles because he's the leader of the business as well as looking at the environment and see how the environment can also affect the employees and the, the, the energy flow of the business. Just to give you an example of what I do, let's say for example this room, it's an office room, it's a wonderful space but how do we make it warmer, more energetic because we want the environment to feed us instead of have it drain us. So one thing I always say is plants. Just having some life force inside a room will help to support you. This desk is in an excellent position because when you're sitting at the desk, you have the eye to the door. This is an executive position of a desk. When you are in your home starting a business, you want to position yourself as if you were an executive to begin that, that energy already. A feng shui tip I love to tell people is pay attention to the chair you sit on. Your, your chair is your support and think about it. The secretaries will have chairs with no arms and, no, and maybe a small back. A manager will have a mid-back with arms. The executive chair, the back is fully supported. You want to sit in a chair that fully supports you to move your business to that executive level. So don't just sit on a little stool in your room when you're starting your business. Get a chair that feels at the level that you want to operate at. Another feng shui tip that I tell people that are starting their business is Put your business name on your door. Even if you're starting out of your, your home, it's important to identify a sense of place so that when you walk through that door, you know where you are. You're not just in your pajamas doing your work, but you walk in and it says, for example, in my case, Alice Inouye Life Guidance, LLC. I know that this is my business. This is what I want to do. So putting your name on the door is very important, no matter where you are. Everything, everything is linear in our life. We have straight walls, but nothing in nature is linear. And so what we tend to do is we tend to put our bookshelves along the wall. But what I like to do is to create curves and angles. So by angling it, it creates a flow. So now that when people are walking down the hallway, they don't just feel like they're at a jagged angle. They're flowing into the lobby. Well, my significant other is Alan Wong. And it, he was, I was with him during this time change in my life. And one thing that he taught me was to find something that you love to do and be the best at what you do and he's been a great role model professionally in how he runs his business to always offer the best service the finest of, of everything and I, I try to do that as well and I think people really love quality so whether it's quality information or quality food so that's been really wonderful and Alan was very supportive of all that I did so I was able to use what I've learned astrology feng shui to work with him but that literally was just a part of, of working with many many businesses not just in Hawaii but throughout the world I've been in the business of helping people in changing their life via their career and I think the most important thing is that no matter where you are whether you're struggling, you're not loving what you're doing, you have no job, you want to change but you can't, the most important thing to know is that it's all about timing. When the time is right, it will happen. Whether it's forced and you have no control over it or whether you finally get the courage to make that change, but it's all about timing. So if you're in a space right now where things aren't happening, just keep knowing that if you can just feel your heart and find what you want to do, that things will open up. And I see it happen day after day.